Are you freaking kidding me? J-O-K, Jeremiah Usakormoa, number uh, the number one guy I've been looking at for, I'm a big fan of Quincy Carrier, and that's who I found this uh, this guy through. But the number one guy on my board, well, it says number two, but J.C. Horn was gone at number nine. But the number one guy that I had bef on day one, the first round, was still available to us in the second round, the bottom of the second round. This is a guy that should have gone 15 to 19. I don't know why he's slipping, maybe because he doesn't have a single position, but that's a good thing. This guy was playing slot. This guy was playing linebacker. This guy was playing safety. I mean, he was covering, locking down wide receivers. Like, he is super, super versatile, and that's a perfect fit. Because I don't know if you follow uh, um, Quincy Carrier, but he's he's an awesome Cleveland YouTuber. And um, he was the first one to put me on on this guy. If you haven't watched the tape, watch the tape of Joker. Well, I call him, his go, goes by J-O-K. Jeremiah Ousukoma is a monster. And I don't know why he was slipping, probably because he doesn't have a single leader position or I don't know exactly why, but even if he's injured, even if he is injured, and I'm not sure he is, the value at bottom of the second round, like he's super versatile and he is a super chess piece. Uh, Tampa Bay had a linebacker like that. It was basically like a safety. Um, that's what you want. We want to run a dime defense, right? So we want a guy that can cover, especially guys like, you know, uh, the – we got tight end, uh, the tight end for the, the Ravens. We got the tight end for the, the Chiefs. Um, there are guys, Kittles, Kittle for the 49ers, that you got to be able to stop if you're going to win, period. Like, those guys are focused, especially like the Ravens. That's their main offensive weapon is they doesn't go to the uh, – he doesn't go – Lamar J uh, Jackson doesn't go to the wide receiver as much. But he was consistently killing us with tight end, tight end, tight end, over and over again. They beat us both times last year. Um, you got to be able to shut these guys down. Like, you got to be able to co cover the, the running back. You got to be able to cover the tight end. You got to be able to cover the slot, especially if you're moving, you know, in zones. This guy is is sick. He he can rush the quarterback. He can uh, he can get into the backfield and disrupt. He can get you know he can cover you know tight ends. He can cover wide receivers. He's a sick sick chess chess piece. And I think you know um, he really fits what 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 we're building, which is a you know a um, multi dimension, multi faceted. Uh, pro, you know, 2021 type defense, and, and it's going to be scary. Like to get this this guy late in the second round is, is amazing to me. I figured he wouldn't be available at 26, and you know, even if you know, even in the first round, I was hoping we get a cornerback first. But I was like, if we get Joke, it's it's a win. But we got him bottom of the second. I I just don't understand it. And hopefully you're excited about it. Let me know in the comments. Do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm, I, I, this is my second video today. I, I've been putting out videos what four in in, in three days, uh, and I'm I'm not gonna stop. Um, and uh, hopefully you're on the journey with me. If you if you watch this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, comment what you what you think of the, our pick so far. What you thought of uh, the pick of JOK and um, do me a favor, and if you haven't watched him yet, uh, Quincy Carey has a great video on Joe, JOK from months ago. It was his, that his number one guy, and he is a monster. But he has a video uh, dedicated to how why this guy is is a perfect fit for the the Cleveland defense. And this is again before I think before uh, we got the 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 Rams uh, cornerback uh, and safety. So, but he's going to, yeah, this guy is, the next few years, he's going to be a monster. Um, and it's, it's exciting to see the Cleveland Brown actually value, uh, to see the value of this guy other than linebacker, which is what they call him. Um, anyways, appreciate you uh, watching this video and have a great, good day and a great night. I just had to put this out. Take it easy.
I'll see you in the next one. This is JJ Sally, aka John Sally, aka Yo Friendly Neighborhood Sally, man. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. If I can end the video, I'm trying. Give me a second. All right. I'm peace.